Welcome to the Clean KWatt project. Welcome to this unit where you will learn how geothermal energy works. Geothermal energy represents the residual heat that's left over from the formation of the Earth 4.5 billion years ago, as well as heat from the radioactive decay of naturally occurring radioactive isotopes. Geothermal energy has several prominent attributes. It requires no external fuel infrastructure. The heat never stops being supplied from the Earth's interior, and it occurs in diverse ways, making it possible to use for different purposes. In the past, taking advantage of geothermal energy was limited to areas where hot water flowed near the surface. But, as geothermal technologies advance, we can leverage even more of these natural renewable energy sources. Nowadays, this heat can be used directly or indirectly in buildings, reducing the need for electricity use in heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and cooling. It can also be used to produce electricity or to provide the heat necessary for various industrial processes. To generate electricity, it's necessary to drill deep enough underground to reach sufficiently high temperatures in the range of 150 to 200 degrees Celsius. Geothermal power plants usually operate as baseload power plants, since its source is one of the few renewables that can provide continuous baseload power with minimal visual or environmental impact. Have a look at this. It's a dry steam geothermal power plant. They directly use geothermal steam at 150 degrees Celsius or more to move the turbines. Another geothermal technology is called a flash steam power plant. A pump pushes hot fluid into a tank at the surface, where it cools. As it cools, the fluid quickly turns into steam. The steam then drives a turbine and powers a generator. A binary plant works differently. It uses two types of fluid. Hot fluid from underground heats a second fluid, called a heat transfer fluid, in a giant heat exchanger. The second fluid has a much lower boiling point than the first fluid, and so it flashes into steam at a lower temperature. When the second fluid flashes, it spins a turbine that drives a generator. That heat, at depths of 2 to 200 meters, can be used as an energy source for HVAC purposes in buildings using high-efficiency geothermal heat pumps. Direct use applications of geothermal energy involve the direct implementation of available heat for a broad range of purposes, such as district heating, food processing, drying materials, agricultural activities, greenhouses, aquaculture, and paper manufacturing. Although such applications have been developed and successfully used throughout the world, they remain relatively unknown and vastly underutilized. When examining the full life cycle of geothermal energy systems, their overall environmental impact is significantly lower than conventional fossil fuel and nuclear power plants. 